Well, this uh, this first round thing seems a little bit easier than third. Have you ever thought about just doing this every time? I know I probably should give this an idea, but um, it's your sport. Like, with a flip of a coin, you can either go one round or you can go to three rounds, you can go to the judges. That's why I love our sport. It just doesn't end in such a simple way as somebody tapping each other on the face, taking it to the judges and the judges saying, this guy wins. It's bad putting that, it's bad leaving it in the judges' hands. We spoke about this before, you've got to take it away from him. Yeah. How do you feel about your performance? I mean, I, I can't think there's much bad about what you did in there tonight. How, how do you feel afterwards? I'm going to be honest, see backstage, I had a wee bit of nerves and I don't normally feel them like that. Um, the last time I had that was when I was in London and I think it was because, you know, you're, you're sitting on the back of your mind is that contract because I love loving this dream. This dream, this job is my dream. Like, as I said to you, I can't understand taking shots for anything less than the best. And I'm hopeful that this performance will get me my next contract that will see me out in 2020. I gotta ask you about the face-off yesterday. It seemed like uh, maybe you got to him a little bit. Did you feel like you kind of won up in there? You got in his head maybe? Um, you know, Paul Craig is definitely going to break your personal space. He's definitely going to get in there. That's part of who I am. I've done it for I started this sport. I like to smell the, my opponent's breath. Like, I like to get that close that I can smell his breath, but um, it's 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 just who I am, and, and, and I believe I got in his head. You could see his hands lifted, he wanted to push, but I don't know why he didn't. Just a quick push and I'd have been, I'd have been on my backside. Paul, did you, say, would have been like this. did you say this was uh, your last fight in, on your contract? This is the last fight in uh, my current contract, so I'm hopeful that um, two wins, two losses, a performance of the night bonus in that win as well. I'm hoping that's enough to score me another four fights in this yeah, you, organization. You look great tonight. Uh, you, you think uh, this performance, you know, will we'll get that done? Um, I'm very um, optimistic, yeah, I believe it will. I believe the performance was good. I put away uh, a grappler who, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter who should have out Brazilian jiu-jitsu me, and uh, he was beaten by the Scottish guy. Yeah, and uh, all your wins in the UFC have come uh, via submission. I know, uh, you know, I really that was, wild? Yeah. I really was wanting that uh, knockout. Um, Just to and switch I thought, it up. see with that knee, um, he went, oh, stanky leg, he hit that old Elvis leg, hit the deg, it's better doing it to something and getting it done to you, I'm going to be honest. And then I felt like I was landing all these shots, but just nothing was happening. And I'm like, yeah. thinking, when's this referee going to step in? My arms are going to gas, my lungs are burning. I was like, ah, there's a choke. Yeah. And I just snatched that. And uh, a lot was made, you know, in this whole event about the elevation because Mexico City is so high up. Did you feel any different in there? Did you feel the elevation? I did feel the elevation and I did sleep for five weeks in a hyperbaric chamber. So a big tent over my bed, slept inside that five weeks, woke up most mornings feeling horrible, felt like I was constantly travel sickness, very, very dizzy, but it was worth it because then when I came out to Mexico City, I didn't feel as much. My poor coach, he spent the last 10 days feeling ill. And how do you feel with the Mexican fans here? What, what a crazy place, I'm going to be honest. See, when I walk down the street, everybody's so nice, everybody wants to speak to you because I'm a six foot four white guy. <laughs> There's not a lot of you guys cutting about Mexico City. So people ask me why I'm here, and then when I try to speak to them, they're like, huh? <laughs> Nobody can understand me, we speak too fast, I'm actually slowing it down really fast. I've got a translator here who's going to have a horrible time. <laughs> and then I got to fight in that stadium, in that noise, it was crazy. The, the Mexican fans are, a fighting nation, and it, it it's a it's an honour to fight here. Paul, what will you do? Will you seek out Sean Shelby tonight, or try, try to get word in? I mean, what, what do you do now, knowing that the contract's over? What we do now is we go have a couple of whiskeys, we celebrate properly. We went back to back with four fight camps this year. We'll go and see the pyramids tomorrow, and we'll just keep living this dream. And if we get that email on Monday morning, we get it. If we don't, it'll come Tuesday morning. Whiskey? What, what, what about tequila or mezcal? You know, I'm definitely going to get some tequila. I'm definitely going to scrape my coach up and fling him on my back and carry him home tonight. <laughs> He's going to have that much tequila. Congrats on, on the Thank victory. You, Thank you.